officials have currently doubled the impact zone of the methane gas leak, accelerating devastating greenhouse gas emissions into the Los Angeles area. And Reuters reported air quality regulators agreed on Wednesday to scrap a proposal to capture and burn off some of the methane spewing into the air. Typically, as a nod to his globalist criminal counterparts at Davos, uh, we've said, and we must uh, deliver, that uh, rich countries uh, must give uh, money for climate uh, to uh, developing countries, and we have to give money and to check. Governor Jerry Brown blatantly ignores his deep involvement in the disaster while grandstanding about climate change. When he declared, thankfully the rest of the world has heard the message, humankind must change the ways and radically decarbonize the economy. The Paris Climate Agreement was a breakthrough. Hypocrisy doesn't get any bigger than this. John Bound for Infowars.com. Al Capone owed $150,000 in back taxes to the IRS, and he went to prison. Al Sharpton, he owes $4.5 million, and he goes to dinner at the White House. Again, ladies and gentlemen, you can get six months free at PrisonPlanet.tv, but only for one more week. Next Monday, the special that only comes around once a year ends. In fact, we've never offered six months free before, but I really want to get more people to join and to be able to watch the nightly news, to see the live reports we do, the special reports, all my films, ebooks, and so much more. One person can share their membership with 20 people, and you are funding the absolute very leading edge, the vanguard of the resistance to the globalist operation on every front. We have to have our own platform that is harder for them to censor, harder for the system to shut down. PrisonPlanet.tv. We put out the daily radio show free with the video and audio feeds at Infowars.com forward slash show. But it is the members that get the nightly news exclusively and first and the commercial free video podcast and audio podcast that are paying it forward and financing and helping so many other people see the truth when we put the videos on Facebook, YouTube, and it's PrisonPlanet.tv that finances so much of the cameras, the equipment, the crew, the reporters. You are becoming a PrisonPlanet.tv member. You get exclusive HD, higher quality, get it first, and then you can download it, share it with friends and family, share your passcode with them, your username. It's a win-win, and then you're helping finance to put it out for free to everybody. PrisonPlanet.tv clean pure drinking water you can't survive without it but where do you get it alexa pure pro is a brand new groundbreaking gravity fed water filtration system that is like no other the alexa pure pro transforms water from virtually any fresh source into clean healthy drinking water save twenty dollars off the retail price and get free shipping this is a limited time offer so order your unit today and receive free shipping and twenty dollars off go to infowarsstore.com or call Triple eight two five three three one three nine. We have breaking news from Infowars.com. It seems that Richard Reeves, Infowars.com political correspondent and reporter, was at an event where Hillary decided to take questions on the rope line. And this is what it's like, people. You get out, you get in the game, and you never know what can happen. Richard was following up on an interview that Dan Bongino did with Alex Jones back on January 14th. Secret Service, Hillary's email was hacked. Last chapter in the book talks about the Clinton scandal, uh, the, 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 the Clinton email scandal. And a source fed to me and said, please, please. And by the way, Alex, an unimpeachable source by any measure. This is not some, uh, you know, lunatic, a fringe guy out there. This is a, a, a unimpeachable source said not only was the email server hacked, which is breaking news. I'm actually surprised not more people. A couple of people have emailed me about the book who read that. I didn't make a big deal out of it at the time. But not only was it hacked, Alex, but the Clintons knew it was hacked. They knew, and they kept using it. Think about this. Think of how deranged this is, Alex. You have a woman running for president of the United States who traded our deepest national security secrets, 
over a private server she knew wasn't secured and that nefarious actors were looking at the emails. And she did it anyway. And not only is she not currently indicted or in prison, she's running to be president of the United States. If this is not a red flag to every Paul Revere out there that something's wrong, then you know what? The country is lost at that point because I couldn't, when I heard the story, I couldn't believe it. So there's former Secret Service Dan Bongino saying from an unpeachable source that the email server was hacked and that was breaking news last week. Now we have Richard Reeves in line at a Hillary Clinton event and he asks her the following question. Secretary Clinton, last last week it was reported on Infowars.com that your email server was hacked. Did you knowingly continue to use your email server? Can you comment on that? Yeah, it's totally untrue. Okay, totally thank you. untrue. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay, here we go. And this is 43 seconds of pure, pure gold from the way she scratches the side of her mouth to the looks on her staffers. You can see the one here in this picture. She is just totally disgusted that someone would dare ask a real question. The Secret Service guy, interestingly enough, he doesn't seem to care. I think he, I think he kind of likes the fact that uh, this question was asked of Hillary Clinton. She says, it's totally untrue, totally untrue. So she repeats this line. Let's look at the evidence. Politico, October 8, 2015. Clinton server faced hacking from China, South Korea, and Germany. That's totally untrue. The contractor SECNAP Network Security identified the hacks, but according to internal emails cited and briefly quoted in the Johnson letter, Clinton's email server may have lacked the threat detection program for three months. And here's Breitbart from November 1st. Hillary Clinton got hacked. Email from her friend. That's totally untrue. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton opened an email message on her private account, saw that she had received a virus-infected link, and replied to her friend that she had been hacked. Another article from Breitbart, exclusive, Hillary Clinton email company was hacked by foreign attackers. And this is back in September 22nd, 2015. Uh, The company that Hillary Clinton paid to manage her private email network was the victim of a massive hack during the period in which Clinton was employing it, Breitbart News has learned. That's totally untrue. In March 2011, the security company RSA was hacked. The hackers got into the company's system through a malware-infested email sent to an employee, then installed a backdoor and stole data. RSA called it an extremely sophisticated cyber attack. Also in September, Radar Online posted the story, exclusive hacker removes Hillary's unreleased emails from sale, turns over to the FBI. The person who hacked into Hillary Clinton's email server has pulled the emails off the block and turned them over to the FBI. RadarOnline.com has has exclusively learned. After speaking with my lawyers, the hacker told Radar, I was advised I could not legally sell these and to get rid of them and turn in everything I had to the FBI. And the Telegraph also reported, back in October 1st, hackers with Russian ties tried to hack into Hillary Clinton's email five times. And how are they doing that? Through infected emails, just like the one sent to Hillary Clinton's friend. Now, InfoWars was not the first to report this breaking news. We can thank Monica Alba right here at Monica Alba. She's an NBC reporter covering Hillary Clinton on the campaign trail. Back at 2.40 p.m. today, she tweeted, Man on rope line asked Clinton about reports saying her email server was hacked. Clinton, it's totally untrue. Now, I am going to take Alba to task on this. Can you comment on that? Yeah, it's totally untrue. Okay. Totally untrue. Thanks, guys. She failed, of course, to mention Infowars.com. And then you have the Hugh Hewitt Show, where he was interviewing former Secretary of Defense Robert Gates. And here's what Robert Gates had to say about the potential for the email server being hacked. One of your colleagues, Mike Morrell, said on this program, or actually agreed with my assertion that almost certainly Russian, Chinese, and Iranians had compromised the homebrew server of the former Secretary of State. He agreed with that. Do you agree with his assessment of my assessment? Well, given the fact that the that the Pentagon acknowledges that they get attacked about 100,000 times a day, I think the odds are pretty high. So it seems like every air-breathing, water-drinking individual on the planet agrees that Hillary Clinton's server was probably compromised, most likely 99% at this point. We're getting it from several sources, from many different angles. This has been going on for months, and yet she still says... That's totally untrue. But what's true, Hillary, is you've got a whole lot of explaining to do. Rob Dew reporting for InfoWars.com and InfoWars Nightly News.
And thank you so much, Rob. And if you want to know more about this, you can check out the video exclusive. Hillary confronted over hacked email. And we have some additional Hillary Clinton email news just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. Clinton email exposed intel from human spine. And this is from the intelligence agency HCSO. And this is a pretty much a fancy acronym. And they say it is used for reporting on human intelligence sources and in outgoing operations. Both sources are familiar with the intelligence community. Inspector General's uh, January 14th letter to Congress advising the Oversight Committee that the intelligence is beyond top secret and known as special access programs identified in the Clinton email. So as uh, so you keep saying, it's not a big deal. In by and large, I think Benghazi is a much larger scandal, but uh, they don't want to go after her on Benghazi because then it's going to show wrongdoing of other people that go beyond Hillary Clinton. But for the time being, she did violate, uh, in my opinion, uh, certain laws and uh, regulations, but she says she did nothing wrong. She wanted to be able to access her emails in a very speedy fashion, even though she pretty much disregarded the emails from Ambassador Stevens in Benghazi. And he's saying, hey, I need more security detail out here. And they responded in kind by taking security away from the ambassador. Now, since we're talking about a presidential candidate, let's talk about the president himself. We have President Obama sued in federal court over executive gun control. This is a great article by Adon Salazar claiming the president cannot redefine laws enacted by Congress. Judicial Watch founder Larry Klayman filed a lawsuit in federal district court on Monday, naming Obama U.S. Attorney General Lynch and Deputy Director of the Department of Justice as defendants. Now, to be fair, when we see uh, Obama in his most recent speech, or one of his more recent speeches, talking about how he wants the smart guns and all this stuff, these are things that he's saying that he would like to implement. They're not necessarily mandated at this point, but if you go back, you backtrack this guy, he said he's not going to take your rifle away, he's not going to take your shotgun away. But if you recall, was it 2013 when he was backing the proposals by Dianne Feinstein? She wanted to ban all semi-automatic or semi-automatic rifles as well as fully automatic rifles, ban things from the shelves completely like AK-47s, and it goes on and on. I would go in more detail, but that's all the time we have now for the InfoWars Nightly News. We definitely appreciate you joining us, and we'll see you again next week. Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that's at the root of all our problems. It's time to stop submitting to this tyranny. It's time to realize that we're being enslaved. Some of these same vo voices also do their best to gum up the works. They'll warn that tyranny is always lurking just around the corner. Tyranny with a capital T. You should reject these voices. Everything that's been done with torture, rendition, the NDAA, the Patriot Acts 1 and 2, from day one was focused on the American people, period. That's it. It's always been about erasing the Bill of Rights and Constitution and rolling out NSA spying publicly, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, rolling out torture, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, but it's really for the general public, rolling out total control and the end of any underground free market systems in the name of fighting Al-Qaeda, but really shutting down any type of free commerce. This is all about converting us from a free society to a tyranny with a capital T. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients, that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA, so it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced, and it just synergistically puts everything in there. Infowarslife.com. That's Infowarslife.com, or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the Infowars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.